just blew it. I was probably wish you wouldn't have gotten anyway, Robert. Wish for a wife, Robert? <laughs> well, you're a lucky son of a guy. Hang in there. Stay exactly as you are, Robert. You may be the one constant in this world of very I don't know, Sarah. You can't stay in your marriage forever. Is that true? Well, I'll say he still gets his way. I say he won't. Now, Joanne, see, when she and Robert get together. Listen, I know all the rules for birthday candle blowing out. I've had enough for a wax museum. If you do not blow out all the candles, you cannot say your wish. All, all right, all right. Actually, I'm, I didn't wish for anything. What do you mean you didn't wish for anything? Oh, tell everybody so curious. Tell, but lie. Thank you for including me in your thoughts, your lives. Stay exactly as you are, Robert. That's right, you sweet thing. Stay exactly as you are. Everyone adores you. What an awful thing. I kiss you goodnight, Robert. But Larry gets jealous. Everything happens for the best. I don't even believe that myself. <laughs> I mean, when you got friends like mine.
really seem to look at it. I always come through the living room on my way to the bedroom, I'm on my way to the bathroom, just get ready to go back out again. And you never spend any time here? But it's so sweet. But maybe that's why you like it. You don't spend time in it, it keeps it special and important. And that's it. And this is the bedroom. <laughs> you love it, I can tell. Well, you know, I can always look for another place. sing and 
touching and laughing and suddenly she says I should go out and buy some champagne and baby oil and get beautifully high and rub and, you know. She said she'd be waiting in bed for me. So, I go to the liquor store and I try to find a drugstore open and get all this baby oil and champagne and start on my way back and I could not find it. <laughs> I looked for over three hours. I, I just couldn't find the motel, and I never saw her again either. Wow. That is the most extraordinary story <laughs> I have ever heard. And you looked for three hours? More. All night I tried to find that motel. Hands trembling and sweat running down my face and all that champagne and baby oil. Oh, and that poor girl. I mean, she never knew. Well, God, I don't know what to say or do. That is just so terrible. <laughs> it is, isn't it?
never Robert comes over, I get this strange feeling we're auditioning for him. Oh, you know my favorite quote, the unexamined life is not worth living. And I think mine is, the unlived life is not worth examining. Why don't I go inside and I'll fix us up a quick lunch? Look at us, four single. It's nicer this way, especially if you have someone. <clears throat> This is why you live in New York. Yes. Carter, why don't you come with me and we can talk about you know who? He's terrific, Robert. So are you excited about the younger generation? Yeah, moments. Jesus, Bob, this is what I should be being born. This is my age. Wild ass kids with probing minds or belly against all the crap. <laughs> I identify with those kids. You shouldn't. You're just as much the enemy as their parents. No, sir, not I. Peter, we're square to those kids. Robert, have you ever had a homosexual experience? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Well, I, I, I mean since you've been a kid, since you've been an adult. Have you ever? No. Actually, yes, yes I have. You're not gay, are you? No, no are you? No. <laughs> no, for Christ's sake. But I've done it more than once, though. Just that fact. Oh, you know, I just think you need someone and suddenly you want the crap out of them, you know? Yeah, I'm sure that's absolutely true. And sometimes you just want to manifest that love, you know? Probably. I mean, I just think you can know someone for a long, long time, and suddenly you just got to have them. I mean, she's an old friend. You just <laughs> desire that intimacy, that closeness. Yeah. Uh, I'll convince the two men, really, boy. If it were for society and all the conventions and that crap, just Go up and fall. You better off for it. Closer. Deeper, don't you think? I mean, like us, for example. Do you think you and I could ever have anything like that? Oh, I get it. You're putting me on. You really got me going there, you son of a gun. <laughs> Joanne, I love it when you're jealous. 
piss me off. I hated dinner, I hated the opera, and I hated here. What I need is another drink. And look at Bobby, how desperately he needs another drink. You know, we are suddenly at an age where we find ourselves too young for the old people, too old for the young ones. We're nowhere. So I say we drink to us, the generation gap. We are the generation gap! Are they staring? Let them stare. Let them those broads. What